Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you two more shelves of my lovely bookcase. So I showed you this one and this one last time, which I'll link that video down below. And we're just going to go over to the other side and I'm going to do these two for you today. Give you mini reviews, show you all the little knickknacks, you know the drill. So here are the two shelves here, a little overview. I'm filming on a different camera than I did for my last bookshelf tour but I think this one will be better for zoom so if we just start over here these two have been sent for review I haven't read them don't really know a lot about them yet these two books we have the favorite wonder book and the children's gift book are really beautiful can you see it's got like embossing on the front and they just have short story collections in there for children this one here this is really nice the only thing with this bookshelf right is the top of it doesn't allow big books to come out but this is the dawn of time and it's australian aborigine myths and as you can see little kangles there i have a little elephant sylvanian i didn't have any sylvanians as a child so i actually got this as an adult because as a child like they were just very expensive i don't know how people can buy sylvanians without being bankrupt by the small little animals so em forster's howard's end haven't read that yet his passage to india haven't read that i've only read a room with a view and just adored it this is that quail robber if you've been on my channel a long time you'll know this book i still haven't read it it's about a woman who like befriends a quail it's a non-fiction book and look how gorgeous that is stunning so move these little bunnies out of the way middle march by george Eliot. this is in the uh, cloth bound edition as you can see they get quite dirty and they kind of, the things come off them. And my biggest pet peeve is they always have, you can see like it's a bit darker, a sticker mark on the back and they will just come apart a little bit because it's such a big book. I was like, you're gonna be spending a lot of time with that. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Got this leather edition, which is very cool. This is one of my favorite books and this was really cheap from a charity shop. It's The Black Tulip by uh, Alexandra Demos. Um, he did the Three Musketeers, it's him, but look how gorgeous this book is, it's velvet as well, it's stunning, loved it. Hans Christian Andersen, complete illustrated works, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move your dysfunctional family aside, thank you. Three Men and a Boat, this is Reader's Digest editions, which I really like them, I don't mind them at all, you get them all the time in charity shops. Got the Jungle Book, some more Richard Kipling, Treasure Island, these little books which are just about like famous people who died tragically. The series, it's called They Died Too Young. Almost feel, it's a weird title isn't it? Got some sums, some more sums. Got a picture of me and my cat's paw, my cat that died. Put that up there. Got the series of unfortunate events, almost all of them. I refuse to buy them new. So I bought, got all of these from charity shops. So, but as you can see, I've actually done quite well just getting them from charity shops. I think the series is okay, right? I'm going to say an unpopular opinion. I don't think it's that good. I feel like once you've read two of the books, you've read them all. They get very repetitive. There's my opinions. Sorry. Got some uh, Christmas books, Christmas Carol, Christmas Carols, The Thicker Tea, which I still need to read. This gorgeous elephant, which I love. So now on to the next shelf got this Christmassy pillar candle I like these candles because they're very like church like got a Dodie Smith I capture the castle a good old Dodie Smith also wrote 101 Dimensions and these books are normally on that shelf so I thought I'd show you them it's 101 Dimensions by her absolutely gorgeous edition with stunning illustrations I you know love this book I've done a whole video review on this book which I'll link down below and this is the next book in the series this is Starlight Barking and there are only these two books and I haven't read this one yet so yeah 101 Dimensions bam moving along we have the Bramley Hedge selection I've only got three here but I do have the full box set they're just out and about around town love Bramley Hedge by Jill Barkland cannot recommend them enough love them this is Brothers Grimm Snow White, but this is by Camille Rose Garcia, and it's absolutely stunning illustrations. But the story of Snow White is really repetitive and boring, so I don't know if I'd recommend this. Her art is stunning. Down here we have, um, this is Jasmine and Aladdin. I can't play it for, like, copyright, but it goes, A whole new world. It plays a song. <laughs> Better singing than that, I will say. 
Here is a little porcelain elephant, which I absolutely adore. And I've read all these books on the shelf, so this might be quite a long video now. <laughs> so, right, start off with this one. Cartwheel, Gemma Dubos. Now, does anyone remember? There was an English girl called Meredith Kircher, and she was murdered by someone, and her roommate, Amanda, went to prison for it. It was a true case, a very big case, a Netflix series, movie, whatever. Amanda's made a hell of a lot of money from it. Let me just say that. But she got arrested and all this different stuff and charged with it and whatever. This is kind of about that situation, but the authors say, no, it's not based on any true events, but it 100% is. It's about a girl that goes to study abroad and gets murdered and you're all looking at her roommate thinking you murdered her but the reason you're not going to go to prison is because you're white and rich in a foreign country, an American and you'll be fine. So yeah, whatever your feelings are on that case that will affect your reading of it, but I thought this was a fantastic book. I really liked it. I thought the end was a little bit naff, but there's that. Neil Gaiman's Coraline. Love the plot of the story. Love um, Christopher Adele's gorgeous illustrations. I mean, I've just got to show you one of them. Oh, my dear Lord, my ovaries. That is stunning, but I found the book incredibly slow, so I didn't enjoy it. Love and Misadventure by Langley. This is a poetry collection and this will break your heart. It's absolutely stunning. Then I have my three Tracy Trevelyos that I've read. I've spoken about them in a Tay Talk, so I'll just list the Tay Talks down below. We then have The Guest Cat by Takashi Hirokade. This is a really gorgeous book about a couple and a cat comes into their life and keeps visiting them but it's not one of those kind of oh welcome to the village at Christmas this cute little cat's gonna solve this dysfunctional relationship it's just nice and they've got a beautiful relationship and it's literary fiction and it's just lovely Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Oban didn't enjoy this I thought this was a war book and as a war book I thought it was very good but it wasn't what I felt the synopsis was of that I have a paper mache elephant as one does it's actually a christmas decoration it's very fetching i'll uh, just take you over, <laughs> over there jeanette winston's oranges are not the only fruit um this is about jeanette coming to terms with her sexuality and her mother dealing with it she's a lesbian and i didn't like this i thought that it was very jokey and funny and if you're a fan of catlin moran you'll enjoy this but i like more serious hard-hitting things so i didn't really enjoy that much like in the reading i found it quite slow but there is something about jeanette winterson's writing that i did enjoy then have jane austen's persuasion i've done a whole video review on that so i'll link that down below burial rights by hannah ken oh boring i was just bored and i read a lot of historical fiction and just Mm, we'll put you back in there now. We are 60 and a bit. This is just little stories about being 60. I'm not 60, um, but I did think it was very, very lovely and quippy. Then have Chris Riddell, oh, my bae, um, the goth girl. He's a goth girl series. I've got a little one of it. Loved it. I love Chris Riddell, anything he does. Mary Higgins Clark, Where Are the Children? That was actually my first video review. I wonder if it's still up on the channel. If it's still up on the channel, I'm going to link it down below because that was my first ever video was a book review. So, we'll see. Great Gatsby. I didn't enjoy Gatsby. Ow, let me say one thing about that though. On my videos where I say I didn't like Gatsby, people keep explaining it to me and being like, oh no, it's because you don't understand what happened. Oh no, it's meant to be this, it's meant to be that. I know, I studied it. I understand the subtlety, I understand the failure of the American dream, I understand all of that, but I think a book that does it a lot better is, let's slide over here and get some shade into this, Arthur Miller's A Death of the Salesman, the reaching for a dream that you can't afford or achieve, like, I think that does it so much better than Great Gatsby. So yeah, I understand Gatsby, I understand the themes, I get it. I just didn't enjoy it as a book, and that's okay. We're all about opinions. War Horse, I thought was good. I thought the it was very beautiful and very heartbreaking, but then I thought the end got very Hollywood, and I didn't like the end of that book at all. Anne Cassidy. I've done a Tay Talks on Anne Cassidy, so I'll link it down below. Patrick Ness and Monster Calls. I didn't like this book, but let me show you. No pictures. It's the just text version, and people said if I had read it with the pictures, I would have loved it and been very moved. But just on the text alone, it wasn't strong enough for me. The Bell Jar, Sylvia Plath. 
didn't enjoy <laughs> this is like didn't enjoy didn't enjoy didn't enjoy didn't enjoy that i i understand the beginning bit was important to talk about mental health i, ju I just didn't enjoy it but let's go on to something that i loved the graduate charles webb miss robinson are you seducing i'll do it with a little oh wow let's have a stage so this is about a boy who he comes back from college and he doesn't know what he's doing with his life and he has an affair with his parents friend she's an older woman and they had this sexual affair and then it ends and it's about the repercussions of the affair and what it you know does to his life and everything and it's so good and he's all like hey um miss robinson i've got to drop something off and then she's just like getting that snaked and he's like miss robinson are you trying to seduce me no i would never seduce you oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry there you go there's the graduate and then you over there and you over there and now you've got to live with the consequences of your actions how do you feel elephant savanian ta-da there you go book reviews with hannah paper airplanes by dawn o porter loved it it's about two girls who are best friends and they're very different it's about the relationship growing up loved it the silent wife by a.s harrison this author died this author died suddenly and i'm so upset that i won't ever get to read anything else from them because they just die tragically and suddenly. But it's a really good thriller. It's about a wife who you get the idea that she's going to kill her husband. And it's about how she gets to that point. What's the betrayal and all different stuff. I have this Noel candle there. Move you over. Uh, 13 Reasons Why. Didn't enjoy this. But my mum did. My mum read this and she was like, I really thought that was a good book. I didn't enjoy it because I felt like the boy as the main character was really boring and that he was just like, well, why didn't she talk to someone? Yeah. And I was like, because she was depressed. She couldn't. She tried to talk to that, like, was it teacher or counsellor or something? And they didn't really go after her. And yeah, I didn't really enjoy that. This was really good. This is a short story collection by Amy Bender, Willful Creatures. And it's all magical realism. And it's so beautiful. Oh God, Drives by James Salis, the best-selling book, best-selling film. It's about a man that drives. He just drives. And that's the beginning and start of the plot. I hated it. Suicide Notes, hated. Prime Miss June Brody. I like Mirror Sparks writing. I just found this quite slow, even though it's so short. We talk about Kevin by Lionel Shriver. It's about, this is a really interesting concept. It's about... Right, get ready. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's about a woman who writes letters to her ex-husband saying, we need to talk about Kevin, who's their son. And she goes back and talks about Kevin as a child and how he was very uh, vicious and ferocious with her, but fine with everyone else. And Kevin, as an adult, you know, has committed a terrible crime. So it's her saying, how on earth have we got to this point? What happened? We need to talk about Kevin. I thought this was really good. Lionel Shriver is a fantastic writer. I just feel like it was a really big book and it didn't need to be as big as this. But, like, having read this and thinking about it now and thinking back to reading this, I'm going to buy a Lionel Shriver book. Tonight I'm going to just going to go and get one because I really miss her writing. She's a very good writer. Unrequited Love is all about a man who gets stalked and then he becomes a stalker and, yeah, it's not very good. One lot, let me move these candles, Yankee candles, thank you. These are both from, oh, all three of these candles from my best friend Lara, thank you. One Last Goodbye is by Kay Gilderdale. It's about um, a mother talking about her daughter who had ME and died, and it's a really good book, I really enjoyed that. And Finds Goggle Eyes is about a girl having to come to terms with her stepdad, I thought that was good. Notes of a Teenage Underground. Ah, I thought that was alright. That's quite good. It's quite good how it talked about Andy Warhol and Valerie Solanus and all that. Kiss Me, Kill Me was good. Unspeakable by Abby Rashton was okay. Um, this play was really good. This really old play. It's called The Village That Was Drowned. And in it, there's a scene where all the animals in the village are drowning and the little boy's crying. Lovely children's book. Quentin Tarantino's Natural One Killers. If you haven't seen the film, you need to rectify that. You need to see the film Natural One Killers because I love it. It's about this couple who go on a murder spree and they're just killing people for no reason. Um, but it's all told from their point of view. It was banned in countries and loads of different stuff. And it's done very artistically. It's Quentin. I love it. 
Junk by Melvin Burgess, I really liked, and now I live in Bristol, so I kind of get the references. And then last but not least, this is a Wizard of Oz play, which I really liked, I thought was really cool. So that's it for those two shelves there. I hope you enjoyed this. The next two shelves, to give you a sneak peek, are going to be my graphic novel shelf, which oh, I've got quite a lot of them. And then down here is just a mix. I don't have it, as you can see. There's no rainbow shelves here. <laughs> there's no author. There's no, you know, genre. It is. It's just a mess of books, to be honest with you. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then feel free to subscribe, comment, like, the what do YouTubers say? Share! Share! <laughs> and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye!